time has come, I will look back and see No change is up to come, at least I try to be And what we should do is to question life, not to take life as, ah, oh, it's clear, it's written in the book, uh, it's published there, it's uh, in the tradition there and there and there, so you have only to read. Life is much more complicated. Uh, maybe it's a European question, but in Europe the people lose more and more the roots, the sense of life. They, they are vanished in a, in a jungle of meanings, but there is not a single way to come out. So that means, uh, I can only observe my own society there. You have, there is one very important word, this is fun and entertainment. They don't care about the world, they don't care about politics and social problems, they only care about fun and entertainment. So, and meanwhile they lost the way through the life. No one has answers, even they have no questions. And this is the problem. And I, I want to show in this movie five young people who belong to this kind of society. They are so bored and they are so out of the way. They have no idea where they should go that they invent games and call the game life. Could you perhaps recall one question which struck you most as very, very remarkable? Yes, that uh, the people find out that the, uh, the whole philosophy of the movie is based on the German philosophers uh, from the last uh, three centuries. And uh, they mentioned Heidegger, they mentioned Nietzsche, they mentioned uh, such a lot of names. And I was deeply impressed how precisely they watched the movie. The, the, the press here was uh, really surprised. I mean, it's not that conventional with the director saying everything, but all three of you work together. Could you describe yeah. this original way of your filmmaking? Yes, I deeply believe in creativity and freedom. Freedom and creativity are most important words. So I am never the master or the leader, I'm just one of them. And we sit together and we develop an idea together. And when there is written role in three of film, it's not it's not 100% true because uh, I would call them the team movie. He was coming over from Germany, he was, he was sick, and then he told me that he would come, and he has come. We are very thankful to him, and all of us are very thankful to him. Roland River is an institution, as they call it. So, Mr. Roland River is here in front of me. Why did you choose 
a military base as a location where it's not a war in the true sense of the term, but it's a war of the relationship. We can start with that. Yes. Um, we choose the military term because it's also locked, it's just like a prison. We want to make it clear they are locked. They are separately from the society and they have time to, to sink over. And they look for the big game, which is nothing more than our life, it's a symbol for life. Because also as a director, I don't want to be a man who train animals like in a circus. I want that the actors, the camera, the sound, everybody works together like a family. And each idea has the same value. For example, I never interfere in the camera work. And the main actress of the room and the leading actress of um, the other movies, she's also a director of photography. And this is my statement uh, to, to show them it's not necessary to show up on a set with 450 people only for one reason, to show we are important. Important is only our work. You, you are a cameraman, you are actress as a cameraman. Yeah, and it, it's very strange, I mean, we, we, it's very difficult for us to think, I, mean, it's very, I, I think that itself is very revolutionary. To have the actor who's the cameraman, actor who's the cameraman, the director who's the cameraman, the angel cameraman. So we portrait, actually portrait, I think is, is, is very revolutionary. How, how do you go about it? It starts by an accident. I started with the camera work for the room. And all the time when I stood behind the camera and, and tried to find the frame, Mira was beside me and advised me how I should do it. And then I said after two days, Mira, the best would be you do the camera because then we spare a lot of discussions. And from this second onward, she did the camera and she do it much better than me. And, and did you develop the script in a similar fashion and through a kind of discussion workshop? We, we always start with a kind of script, I would call it a kind of script, but everybody knows this has no value because after the first meeting the script is in the garbage. And then we start again and we listen to everybody, not only to the actors, it could be that you are a guest of the production because you are with a journey and you are there, and your idea is the best one to open the So we will steal the idea from you. He doesn't care and say it must be from one writer or from one director. No, the idea is the most important thing, and no one has the privilege to have the only good ideas. Despite the fact that you really don't have a script, you came out with wonderful dialogues in the movie, and they were so natural, they were so thought provoking. How were you evolving the dialogues? We have the storyline, we know this should be the direction, and suddenly, and, and this is a process I can never describe, it writes. You understand what I mean? That it could be that we, all, that we sit together, and I try and try to make a simple dialogue between you and you. Nothing comes up. Nothing. Not even not uh, hello, how do you do? Nothing. And then I walk or I, I observe people around and suddenly it's there. And then I write and two days later when I read my own writing, I can't believe I wrote it. But how to write, I don't know. For me it's a mystery since I write and I wrote more than 30 theater plays. And at the end of the floor, you see the director. So there, there lies my, there's my question. I mean, this decision of your appearance, was it predetermined or it uh, came a little at the later stage? Did you appear as the director or did you appear as the character? Uh, yes, when we, when we shoot a movie, we were not sure what will be there. And there was some uh, request. Some of them said it should end open end without any kind of explanation, just is finished. The next one said, hey, there should be the man who is mentioned at the beginning, this master player, or whatever it is, and then I make a mixture. Till today, I don't know what's my character about. I'm not sure what I am. Uh, maybe I am a kind of God, 
or uh, extraterrestrial men, or just in, in her head. Maybe all of the, the whole game was, was fantasy. I have no idea, maybe that's just... Yeah. Uh, a old set man appears in the end to complain about human beings. By letting it to the audience to decide what is this man. I have no explanation. I have three small questions. Uh, about the music. It's very interesting. Already pretty good. And did you shoot anything on TV? This is a very interesting man. He was a dancer, a high reward dancer. He worked together with Pina Bausch. Then he's also an actor and he was a high water actor. And he comes to our uh, shootings, he reads the script, when it's written, and then he comes and says, okay, give me five days. And then he vanished for five days and comes back with a master CD of 20 songs. And you have an idea, and you have first to pick up the money for 75 mm production from the first beginning onwards, you run two and a half years behind the money, and this time you waste for your movie. Do it in digital, if it's okay, transfer it to 35 millimeters, and it can be shown at the number. And it's give the opportunity to a lot of people to make their own ideas. And only if a lot of people do their own ideas, you can break the wall. And in, in this, in this movie also, I had a vision. I want to make the light, maybe 50% of the whole light, by natural light, like candles or the, the lanterns. In my opinion, each movie should be a voice. You have something to say. A lot of my colleagues, sorry to say that, they have only one phrase to say, I want to make money. And this is not a way for I want to be famous. Yeah. And believe me, to be famous or to be rich, can you make so poor? Uh, and I, I prefer to be myself. I request you also to see a different style, a different kind of cinema, which we uh, normally don't get to see. I mean. But first, I, I would like to add something what Soldan said. Uh, the Americans do these movies not only because money. There is also a deep political strategy behind. Uh, if you watch precisely the new action uh, movies after 11 of September, each enemy looks uh, very uh, Asiatic, very uh, Middle East. Uh, so uh, all the bad guys uh, are from Middle East and from Asia, and all the good ones from America. So they, they use just the framework of the story to transport their highly dangerous philosophy to the world. Uh, violence, as Sultan and you said, is a matter of fact since the human being exists. To deal with violence in movies has to do with the responsibility of the filmmakers. Uh, you, you can use it like in uh, Apocalypse Now, who was a big use against war, or you can use violence as a propaganda machine like the Americans do with the new action movies. Uh, if you spare out violence and sexuality out of the movies, uh, it has not to do anymore with human beings. Our life is full of emotions and also aggressivity, but the movie should show a way out of the disaster. Therefore, a movie can use violence as a mirror and as a warning, not as an advertisement for it. You will see our movie, The Dark Side of Inner Space. I just want to say a few words about it. This is a disturbing movie. It's not entertaining. It's a movie who tried to give questions. Because in our world it's very important that the filmmaker give questions. We are not wise enough to give answers, but at least some questions. So please, when you see this movie, please feel disturbed in a good way. Thank you very much. Since two weeks, it's been a wonderful experience to visit this part of India and this uh, very 
grateful, peaceful, and shining people that are so polite and makes the stay for us also so um, unforgettable. And I just would like, would like to say one phrase in Bengali. So it's Ami Shili Gurike Ku Pochondo Kurechi. Trust in your mind, in your words, in your sunshine. Humble and strong, without duty, without hate. You are my friend, my love, and my destiny. We take care of all.